you are watching Kolsky One. Like, share, and subscribe. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky One. Today, three reviews in one. Three quick reviews. We're going to review the Digidapter. We're going to review the Foxy or Wildfire, and we're also going to review the Furious FPV Smart Case. This is the one the V2, and this is the one you can use for the DJI goggles. Before we start. Don't bother commenting down below that it's a waste of money. You're quite correct, it's overpriced, but I do like it. So, moving forward, let's get that one out of the way. So, this is the Digidapter. So this item here, I'm not going to pull it off. There's loads of in-depth reviews of this. This just simply bolts on where your faceplate was. There's no soldering. There's no bits of tape needed. It just quickly goes in. So you take the two screws out of your normal one there. It comes with two different screws because they need longer screws. You get them in the box. You take that one out, you put this one in. It then uses the wires that come with it to go out of your power this one's got a piggyback wire which is the power from the battery it goes straight into the digi adapter at the front you then got your AV out from the goggles into the front of there it's as simple as that it really is that nice the thing I love about this is it's not 3d printed it looks far better and it accepts look at the fit of that the Fox here fits amazingly well. What I will tell you moving forward is this is designed mainly for the um, the Fox here and also the, can't remember the name of it now, but the Rapid Fire. How can I not remember what Rapid Fire is called? I have got a True D. It does not fit very well in here at all. So this is to me the best solution i've tried the different ones i've had the one bolt on the side it never feels that great and also you've then got this at the side of you rather than directly in front of you so you're always going to have a signal issue and this to me is the best one it retails in i think it's 40 pounds which is a chunk of money but it's worth it because of the way it fits and it makes the goggles look fantastic it doesn't look like a cheap add-on it looks like it could have been made by dji so moving forward from that, I also realised that I had more analog quads than I still than I did, and I didn't want to get rid of them. I don't want to convert them all over because it's an expensive process. And I've got some with really nice cameras. I've got some with the retails on, and they're nice cameras. And I didn't want to wreck that, so I decided to get myself. I was going to buy the Rapid Fire. Rapid Fire was coming in at 120. I couldn't get stock really. Then I did find it for 125, but this was 72 pounds. Got it from the UK from Mantec and. It was in stock and it's absolutely superb i love it i've watched loads and loads of videos and different comparisons of this and the rapid fire and there is a bit of a difference when you get stupid range out i don't fly long range analog i do fly digital if i want to do long range so it was never going to be an issue for me so i'm just going to boot it up but first of all we'll talk about this so this is the furious fpv kit i have the original one that i use on my normal goggles which took two 18650s as does this the big difference between this and the other one is it has a longer cord so you can strap it onto the back of your goggles which i do like and this one will stay at 8.5 volts so you can set the voltage on your batteries i've got these set to 2.5 for the note what knack me 18650s and if i've got if i've got 2.6 volts in easy battery i'm still going to just put out 8.5 because of the voltage regulator which means i've got enough to power these is this going to give me stupid long flight time? Probably not. No, it doesn't. You've got to keep charging this thing up. It doesn't come with a char uh, charging plug. You have to take the batteries out. The one massive advantage over this and the old one was, the old one has two screws here that you held the batteries in with. This one is a pop out. So all you do is do that. I've got three sets of these all complete, all ready to go. So I just do that if I was at the field and change them. So you can see it's a really nice piece of kit. It works the same way as the other one did. We turn it on first press will tell you what it is what it will stay on and then we'll just go into it and there you have your menu and you can go through your menu by holding the buttons down this also acts obviously as a on and off switch for my goggles now so i can leave this plugged in and it gives you information that you need on here so it'll tell you how much charge is in it etc you've all seen one of these before it's nothing new um the only difference is obviously this one's got a longer cord on and it's eight and a half volts instead of the eight that the original one get the other v2 the original v2 give you so that's the difference plugging it into here we'll have a quick look at the foxy on wildfire it's not going to be a long video today i just want to show you some quick products and do a three product review 
So let we plug the goggles in. Let's just turn them on. Long press, we're in. As you can see, the Foxy Wildfire has a OLED disc screen. I hope we can see that properly. Let me just get in there because I don't really want to take the antennas off. OLED disc screen and one button system. It's got a simple wheel. It's got a simple push button. And this is how you adjust things by simply adjust the channel up and down. As you can see, I'm doing there. And if you want to go into the menu, you can long press it. And then you've got channel, you can, in there. Favourites, so you can set your favourites up there, your favourite bands, etc. Hope you can see it's alright. Finder, which doesn't work that well. You've got your band scan, if you're not sure what band you're on. And if you go into settings, here you can adjust different things. Really simple to use. You've just got one, one button, and that's it. It has got one issue that I don't like, and that is the fan. You can probably hear this fan running. That is not the DJI goggles. That is this little fan. As you can see. Can I stop it? This little fan gets really loud when it gets warmer. You can hear this fan when you are using the goggles. I won't lie to you. It hasn't put me off in the slightest, but it's just a word of warning. If you were thinking about getting one of these, that it will do it. Range is fantastic. Reception is fantastic. I'm not going to make a video showing that. The next video I make, and... The next video I do make when I'm flying analog, I'll be using this and I'll show you a cut out of this. <laughs> and I've left the transmitter on. Just bear me one second. Inactivity loud, bloody hell. It's annoying to hear most. So, there you go. There are the three things. These have transformed my goggles. So, really, do I need this? Not really, no. I don't need this. But I was having problems with the bat. I bought a different strap. I was having problems with battery placement. And that's why I wanted this. I wanted this because I wanted a simple solution. I can just swap the 18650s out. And he's made everything a bit more compact. This, to me, is a no-brainer. All right, it's a 40 quid. And it's more money than the ones you can, other ones you can buy. And you can actually mod it so you can have everything inside. I don't want to ruin my goggles, thanks. So I'll go wrong with that. And there, the mods for my goggles. All right, so these pair of goggles now are got quite expensive. Because I've got 90 quid worth of antennas on here. And then got another 70 odd quid here. I've got 30 quid in this battery case. And I've then got other things. Oh, one other thing I will say is I bought the foam. It's not going to review the foam, but this is the DJI foam you can buy. Should have came with it. Absolutely no doubt about that. I'm peeved at paying 14 quid for it. And let me tell you the other thing they rip you off on postage because they only have one form of postage. So I think it cost me seven quid to get it delivered. Joke, really. But it feels comfortable and it didn't before. So I've had to spend a chunk of money to get the goggles like I want them. There's a lot of money. I probably, I don't know, they probably couldn't go a couple of hundred quid there. On top of the price of the goggles in the first place. But for me, they're now perfect. And it's one set of goggles. That's what you have to remember. Just one set of goggles. I haven't got to go out and buy another set. And I've got a really nice picture. I've got really good reception. And it works for me. So if I was to, to short cap on the products, this isn't worth it. You could probably make something yourself if you're good with electronics. 40 quid for the digi adapter is expensive, but to me it's well worth it. And the biggest deal for me is the Fox here. The Fox here is £72, and to me it's brilliant quality. It's fantastic. It does what I want it to do, and it was a good price. I haven't had to spend £120 on a rapid fire. So, I told you it was going to be quick, short, sharp, and shot. We've just gone through them products. Like I say, they've enhanced my goggles. I've now got, to me, the perfect pair of goggles. You'll probably think different. If you've got a different combination that you use, please let me know in the comments down below. Or you've found better way of mounting your batteries, or you've got better straps. You've got a better idea for the foam. Um, or you've used the Vox here and you don't like it. Just let me know in the comments down below. But don't just like the video off and give me a thumbs down. Tell me why. I need to know. So if you don't like any of these products, you tell me why. I'm only, I'm only reviewing them. I'm only telling you my opinion. I'm not paid to do this. This is just my opinion. They're just what I've bought and I like. But like I say, if you know I had any issues with the Fox here, let me know any issues with any of the other products. So, once again, thanks ever so much for watching. Don't forget, like, share and subscribe.